is up, King Litter Pair, and we are doing a new Telltale game. So you might be asking, what is Telltale Games? Well, Telltale Games are like you get to choose your own story. Like, you know, kill this person, not kill this person. You know, all that interesting stuff. And, um, like, you know my Minecraft story mode series? That's from the same people, except for this is Batman. Um, also just telling you something, there is a little bit of cartoon violence, so if you don't like that or you're triggered by it, you know, um, I don't want to say click off because I don't mean to click off. Um, yeah, just a, just a fair warning, there is a little bit because, you know, you know, Batman, he's punching people, etc, etc, etc. Let us start! Whew. Continue. Time to look at the budget. Batman's gadget scare in your eye. Okay, purple. Oh, purple looks cool. Blue's like meh, it's like your a normal tech color. I feel like every single movie has that blue tech color for the projectors. So we're not mediocre like that. Yellow. Purple looks lit. I kinda wanna do purple. Doesn't matter all that much. That's the most important decision of this entire game. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Is it like a suit? Welcome to Vietnam. <laughs> I don't know. City Hall. 8.32 p.m. Hey, what are you- Oh! Starting off early! Jesus Christ, the first scene, someone dies! That was brutal! Okay. Is this the purge or like the mass? Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. That's a cool train. Kinda looks like a roller coaster. Yeah, he did. Oh. Christ. Move in. The hell? Back. Get back. Oh. Gordon. They're on the fifty second floor. I'm going in. Hey, fifty second floor. Wait for backup. Don't need it. Is this a Take bank? The stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Here's the bat. He is going to give you rabies. E. E. It's really dark. Don't tell anyone that he's coming in. Just look at him. Okay, okay. okay. I am the Batman. Why is his eyes white? Oh. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now, but it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Can you make an example? Criminals in this city, <laughs> they need something to fear. They, they weren't really feel, fearful, they were like, oh yeah, he goes in the zoo. Oh, Jesus Christ, there you go, you're screaming, good job. Because you like, warned the other go? people. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Yeah, just why? It's like the classic horror movie where they go with just a flashlight and they end up dying. What was that? What was that? It's 
like some girl with the hair of her wearing like a hospital suit. Ah! Huh? That's a horror movie. This is a dance. E. <coughs> that one person has a mask. He's okay. trying to create a myth but be careful you don't turn into a monster sometimes you need a monster come back come on come on Woo. E. oh that's an uppercut oh there goes all your dental records they're gone sorry about that you're gone it's mine Shift any simultaneously. Ooh, ouch, that gotta hurt. RKO. Finish him. Just kick him. Ooh. A shift AQ? What is this? This person, he's taking a beating. I can't see stuff because it looks really dark, but ah, all I know is that he his rib cage is not happy. How is this person still alive? Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Oh, roasted because his parents died. Heyday. Are you gonna get the money or just get the luck? Okay. I don't know why this scene's so dark. I hope you guys can see stuff. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. That's a lettering. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Watch the language. That's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Yep, pretty Sounds much. fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. 
and let's What's with her lipstick? Ugh. Bring it, Bat. Oh, you're going down. Oh. Yeah, I can, I can see the scene much better. E. I'm gonna spam all the things. Whoa! Did I get that? Ooh. Hit punch her! Stop being so cinematic. Oh. She's cracking that whip. What a sick dab. I mean, uh, uh, whip. Kenshi Nene. Bye! Shift in the Do I like this combo thing? This is fun. Oh, wow. She not vomit from that. I like sucker punch in front of the stomach. What? Exposed. Yo, yeah, those are some sharp nails. Cut them. Ooh, RKO. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Punch her! Catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Talk or I drop Who you. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're I'll not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on. Really? Really? Should have killed her. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. 
Well then. Time Classy to save the party. city. There you go. So that's like the introduction. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut <laughs> Gotham's crime rate <laughs> in half. Oh, I For too coming. long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. At least this election cares normal. Jesus Christ, that was our election. If only had Mr. Wayne, Dent. my campaign's largest oh, backer, sorry, sorry. could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Oh! Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. That one person with the white gloves like. Why? Why Together, here? we will change Gotham. You see the person in the white gloves, right? Okay. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Oh, well, I forgot. I didn't know the time on it. Oops. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Oh, wait, I didn't... just don't like being someone... Oh, no, I thought I was going to have to punch people. What are you people? talking about? I just didn't you want to support Gotham's him. golden it's sun. Really, uh, Let them bask in your like radiant him. glow. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. But now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible. Harvey at those. Dent. It always makes me sound like. Oh, that's good. I like that. Thing. Which, for the Harvey record, Dent? I have not been since before law school. More like. All right, all right. Harley. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. Harley. It's not bad. Meant. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried to think of something that rhymes, but I didn't, so. That's pretty bad. This is so loud. The streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Okay, I lowered the sound a bit. Kind of better. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Is that Old bad? families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. On their You're old. preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall. That kid Murder bat the freak dealing out corruption vigilante in the justice sheets. like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. 
There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. No, no Batman's, cool. Batman's cool. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Well, she's so dressed out his drink on us. Costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age. Must have been crippling. Stop rubbing it in his oh, face, yeah. Jesus. Deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe uh, that was hilarious well, when she died. Of we were all cracking and up. I'm Isn't sure that funny? Isn't it well, funny? Thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. I think this, this is a sassy person wearing the white gloves. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm kind of speaking loud because I think the thing's overpowering Mr. Wayne, me. You've but it might got not. something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It'll come out. I'll stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. What a weird thing to say. Do excuse me. <laughs> this is so... Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, and There's gonna be a fight, I know. Criminal to your fundraiser? Doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. We're gonna kill him. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Why is everyone looking over? Shake hands, why not? You're a respectable man, I hear. Why would I not shake Bruce his hands? Wayne, I know who you are. 
The guy is going to sell me his house. Ah, oh, come on. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. He's going to say that we were Batman. I think he's up to something. I don't trust that scar on his head. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill and... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I think we can get Harvey with Harvey us. Harvey stays chill. with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah. What did I say? I need him in case I mess up. He'll cover for me. Because I know it's something Mr. Really District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law... And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. Why does he sound He's so sassy? He's trying to make Gotham a better place. Like, say it so casually now, like... So are ugh, you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My... Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, Joe, I'm gonna play let's the talk relationship. Let's play some pool. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. Why would I chalk your me. thing? It's like you can do it yourself. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. Can you just slap like my you face? Know? It's nice that we understand Excuse each Excuse me? That was a microaggression. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. I don't trust this, Mr. Fal Falgaloni. Bam, bam, bam. I'm trying to like shake my head too, but like everything is moving, and I feel like it's gonna pick up on the mic. So this is really interesting so far. Okay, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Subscribe to become a derplet so you can see the next one will be coming around the corner. Thank you. Have a good day. It's and me. goodbye. Derp.